Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the A Plus Tutor. Today we're going over adding and subtracting polynomials. Let's get started. First, let's define polynomials. A polynomial is the sum or difference of monomials. A monomial is just a number or product of numbers and variables with whole number exponents. Here are some examples. 17x to the third, 1 third b to the sixth, 0.125n to the seventh. These are all monomials. 4y to the tenth plus 7y squared and 8t to the third minus 3t are both polynomials because they're the sum or difference of monomials. The following are not examples of polynomials or monomials. 7 raised to the y power, the fifth root of a, n to the 0 0.125 power, or the absolute value of 2x to the fourth plus 3x. Let's look at the degree of the polynomial. We find the degree of our polynomials using the leading term. The leading term simply is the term that has the largest exponent. And the leading coefficient simply is the coefficient of the first term. The coefficient is the number tied to the term. So for example, if we had 7y as our term, 7 would be our coefficient, that number attached to our variable. Let's look at a polynomial. We have 7x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus 9x squared plus 8x minus 12. The term with the largest exponent is our leading term. So in this example, 7x to the fourth is our leading term. That means the degree of our polynomial is 4, and our leading coefficient is 7. We can find the degree of each of our terms. Going from left to right, the degree of each term is 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. We can find this by looking at the exponent on our variable. We always want to make sure our polynomials are written in standard form. Standard form means that the terms of the polynomial are in order of exponent from largest to smallest. Next, let's go over adding polynomials. To add polynomials, combine the like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variable and same exponent on that variable. So let's look at an example. We have 7x squared minus 2x plus 4 plus 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. 7x squared and 3x squared are like terms because they both have x squared as the variable. Negative 2x and 5x are like terms because they both have x, and 4 and negative 2 are like terms because they are constant terms. Now, let's rewrite our expression grouping those like terms together. We have 7x squared plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5x plus 4 minus 2. So, combine the terms and we get 10x squared plus 3x plus 2. Let's look at another example. We have 13n squared plus 11n minus 2n to the fourth, plus negative 12n squared minus 3n minus 6n to the fourth. When we're working with polynomials, we always want to rewrite our polynomials in standard form. Remember, standard form means the terms are in order of exponent from largest to smallest. Let's find the degree of each of our terms. For our first polynomial, the degree of each term is 2, 1, and 4. For our second polynomial, it's 2, 1, and 4. So now let's rewrite our expression. In standard form, we have negative 2n to the fourth plus 13n squared plus 11n plus negative 6n to the fourth minus 12n squared minus 3n. Our like terms are negative 2n to the fourth and negative 6n to the fourth. 13n squared and negative 12n squared, 11n and negative 3n. Let's rewrite this expression, grouping those like terms together. 
No, we can combine like terms. And we have negative 8n to the fourth plus n squared plus 8n. Let's look at 10r to the third minus 7r squared plus 4r plus 1 plus 12r plus 3r squared minus 5. Always rewrite our polynomials in standard form. So let's check the degree of each term in our polynomials. In our first polynomial, we have degrees 3, 2, 1, and 0, so we don't have to rewrite that one. In our second polynomial, we have degrees 1, 2, and 0, so we will have to rewrite that one. We have 10r to the third minus 7r squared plus 4r plus 1 plus 3r squared plus 12r minus 5. Now, instead of identifying like terms, let's stack these polynomials on top of each other, and we're going to line up our like terms this way. We'll start by rewriting our first polynomial. Now, let's rewrite our second polynomial beneath the first polynomial, lining up our like terms. So 3r squared goes below negative 7r squared, 12r goes below 4r, and negative 5 goes below 1. We don't have an r to the third term in our first polynomial. So what we can do is add a 0r to the third to the beginning of our first polynomial so that when we add down, we have like terms for all of our terms in our polynomials. Adding 0 to our polynomial or to our expression does not change the value, so we can always add or subtract 0 to make sure we have a like term for the corresponding term. Now we can simply add down. From left to right, we get 10r to the third minus 4r squared plus 16r minus 4. Let's look at another example. Let's take 9k to the third plus 5k squared plus 11k plus negative 2k to the third minus 8k plus 9. First, let's verify that these are both in standard form. Checking the degree of all of our terms, we can see that both these polynomials are in standard form. Now, let's line them up. Let's start by rewriting our first polynomial. Below that, let's write our second polynomial, lining up our like terms. So negative 2k to the third goes below 9k to the third negative 8k squared goes below 5k squared. Here, we don't have a term that matches with 11k. We don't have a like term in our second polynomial. So we need to add 0k so that we can represent that term. In. Then we can add 9. We don't have a constant term at the end of our first polynomial, so let's add a 0 there as well. Now, just add down from left to right. Our final answer becomes 7k to the third minus 3k squared plus 11k plus 9. Now, let's go over subtracting polynomials. To subtract polynomials, distribute the minus sign, then combine like terms. Let's look at an example. We have 13x squared minus 11x plus 7 minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. First, let's distribute this minus sign to all the terms within our second polynomial. This causes us to change each of our signs. So 2x squared becomes negative 2x squared, minus 4x becomes plus 4x, and positive 8 becomes negative 8. We also change our minus to a plus. So our expression becomes 13x squared minus 11x plus 7 plus negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. From here, let's identify the like terms. We'll group those together. So we have 13x squared minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 4x plus 7 minus 8. And when we solve, we get 11x squared minus 7x minus 1. So subtracting is just like adding polynomials with one extra step of changing all the signs from the right of our minus sign. 
Let's look at another example. Let's take 3b to the 5th plus 8b to the 3rd minus 10b squared minus negative 12b to the 5th plus 4b to the 3rd plus 14b squared. Let's distribute that minus sign to all the terms within our second polynomial and change the signs. This gives us 3b to the 5th plus 8b to the 3rd minus 10b squared plus 12b to the 5th minus 4b to the 3rd minus 14b squared. Identify those like terms and rewrite your expression grouping those terms together. Our final answer becomes 15b to the 5th plus 4b to the 3rd minus 24b squared. Let's look at another example. We have 8b to the 3rd minus 6 plus 3b to the 4th minus b to the 4th minus 7b to the 3rd minus 3. Let's distribute that minus sign. Also, we need to rewrite our polynomials in standard form of each of our terms within our polynomials. This gives us 3b to the 4th plus 8b to the 3rd minus 6 plus negative b to the 4th plus 7b to the 3rd plus 3. Just like when adding polynomials, we can stack these polynomials on top of each other and combine down. Let's rewrite our first polynomial and write the second one directly beneath it with those like terms in line. Adding down, we get 2b to the 4th plus 15b to the 3rd minus 3. And that's our final answer. Let's take one more example. We have 14p to the 4th plus 11p squared minus 9p to the 5th minus negative 14 plus 5p to the 5th minus 11p squared. Distribute the minus sign to all the terms in this polynomial. And we always want to rewrite in standard form. So let's identify the degree of each of our terms in both polynomials. Now our expression becomes negative 9p to the 5th plus 14p to the 4th plus 11p squared plus negative 5p to the 5th plus 11p squared plus 14. Let's stack these polynomials. Rewrite the first polynomial and when we rewrite the second polynomial we have to add a 0p to the 4th power for our second term so that we have like terms in that slot. We also have to add 0 to the end of our first polynomial so that we have like terms that line up. Now, let's add down. We get negative 14p to the 5th plus 14p to the 4th plus 22p squared plus 14. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what other topics you'd like for me to go over. See you next time!